and 12 and 13 oh hey guys it's Dash and Jess here from the Volpa Video Diaries here for another session this video is again for all our move big move strong move steady and move aqua so everyone can join um, in with the video so again if you can only do 10 minutes at a time that's fine you don't need to do the full 20 minutes at once and um, we will be doing some more walking and aerobic activities and just progressing some of our strength exercises that we did from our last video and just um, adding some new videos in there so remember take on board all our safety tips make sure you do it as safe as possible if it causes any pain just stop um, and make sure that you breathe throughout the exercises so how can we keep active outdoors so we are allowed to go walking outside with one other person. It's really good to get out of the house for your mental health, just to go for a walk, whether you go for 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or you just go around the block once. Anything to get out, get that aerobic exercise in you. Um, you can also, to make it a bit harder, go a bit faster. So increase the intensity and speed that you walk and just make sure you rest as appropriate. So if there's a park bench or a step to sit on, just have a rest as you go. Um, so if you can't walk outside, we are going to go through next some aerobic exercises that you can do inside. Hey guys, so uh, this is the aerobic exercises or movements you can do around the house if you find that you can't go outside for any reason. Probably the most important thing is that you don't have any sort of clutter around you that you might trip on or hit. So safety first so we're going to start by doing a little bit of marching and we're going to add an arm movements to the front good that's it and if you want to add a challenge you can go alternate arm if you want that's it good and you want to go for about 30 seconds on 30 seconds off if you manage find that it's difficult go for 20 seconds and then 30 seconds off uh, you're going for about three minutes and next we'll just do the side step Jess good good and let's change it up let's go front step with the bicep curl again good and let's go back step now with the arm movement excellent that's it And again, you can just do these sort of movements for about three minutes, just as a warm up for the exercises. It's also a good coordination exercise. I'm just gonna show you a different version in the seated position if it's difficult or unsafe for you to do it in standing. So we'll start by just doing the arm movements and foot forward, that's it. Very good, keep going. And let's go arm movements and side to the side. Good. Again, if you're finding you have issues with the shoulder that stop you from doing that, just move the shoulders as much as you can or legs. Okay, good. Excellent. And again, you want to still do the same thing for about three minutes. Alright, so now we'll move on to the strength exercises. Um, so just uh, last week we did a sit to stand. Um, so just sitting and standing out of your chair. Dash will just demonstrate what we did last week. So just sitting and standing. Good. So just remember the chair needs to be against the wall. Make sure there's no clutter around and that you have arm rest if you need it. Alright, so how do we make this exercise a bit harder? So the first one we can do is change our foot positioning. So I'm going to get Dash to put his feet into a staggered stance, still about hip width apart. So when he goes to stand up, this back leg here will be doing a lot more work. So as he stands up, nose over toes, good. And back down. So what you'll do then is 10 reps on that side. Good. And once you've completed the 10, switch the foot around. That's it. And then switch the feet. So then we'll do 10 on this side because this leg needs to be worked as well. Good. And just do the two sets of 10 or three sets of 10 depending where you're at. 
and just one more. Good. So that's the first way we can make that sit to stand a bit harder. The next one is by adding an upper limb movement. So you can either use the milk bottles or two water bottles, whatever you've got around the house. So I'm going to pass them to Dash. So with this next one, as he stands up, he's going to add in a bicep curl to make it a little bit harder again. All right, so Dash is going to stand up, bicep curl, back down, stand up, bicep curl. So this time we're making the arms work a little bit harder by adding some weights in. Good, and again, you could also do it um, without the drink bottles if you find that the weight of the drink bottles was too much can just do the bicep curl without. Good. And done. Alright, so another strengthening activity we can do is called our farmer's walk. Bit of aerobic activity too because we'll be walking, um, but mainly full body strengthening, arms, cores, leg. Um, so what all you'll need is some shopping bags and some drink bottles or a can or something to pop in the bags to make them a bit heavier. Just trying to, you know, strengthen your whole body. So what I'm going to do is put one drink bottle in one bag, one in the other. And Dash is going to hold one on one side, one on the other. So you can choose how heavy you want to make it by popping more objects into the bags. So the idea is just to do four laps up and back maintaining our core, making sure we're not dropping to either side, walking nice and straight, making sure there's no clutter around, nothing that you can trip on. So safety first. Good. That's it. So again, he's not dropping side to side. He's maintaining good posture. You should be able to feel it over your whole body working. Just something a bit more funner to do at home. And you should have all these bags and drink bottles and cans at home as well. Again, you choose the speed at which you'd like to move. You can walk a little bit slower, a little bit faster, but as long as you're doing it safely. Good. You can also take nice big strides as well. If walking is something you struggle with, making sure you're taking nice big steps. Good. All right, guys, so the next exercise is specifically for the move big guys and also for anyone that has issues with hand dexterity or hand grip strength. So what we want need is a towel, okay? And what I'd like you to do is have the towel out and just slowly try and roll up the towels in between your fingers. That's it, all the way. You can start off by doing it slowly then I want you to try and give it your best effort and roll it up as quickly as you can. That's it. Really coordinating your fingers. If you feel like you're losing the grip on the towel, slow it down. Take a break if you need to, and then roll it up fully as much as you can. And then you can, once you've got it fully rolled up, you can slowly try and unroll it. I recommend trying to do it once uninterrupted and if it's easy, try and slowly build up to being able to do it three times. It does give the muscles and the forearm and the wrist a good workout. So that's the first exercise. And now we'll get slowly, try and get just to do the full rolling. And I want you to try and keep your elbows out in front of you. You can try this in with elbows flexed and it will work slightly different muscles as well. So try it in both different ways. Once we have it fully rolled up, like Jess has almost got over here, what we'll do next is towel twist. So what I would like you to try and do, holding on to the towel, is slowly just try and twist one hand clockwise and the other hand counterclockwise. That's it. And then the other way. The challenge here is to twist as much as you can and hold that position for about three, two, one, and release three two one release three two one release and three two one release okay so you can try for 10 repetitions just be careful because the arms and the uh, the muscles in the forearm can actually get cramped really quickly so you might go from not feeling tired at all and all of a sudden it's really burning and cramping just be careful with that the, and the next thing we need is, I might just come through here. 
If you have a box or something at home, what we can do is bunch up the towel. For me, that's it. And you can try and just do a throwing exercise where you throw. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay. One more time. Yeah. So if you do it immediately after, if you do it immediately after the other exercises, it will be harder. Okay. That's what probably happened right there. Is that right, Jess? Yeah. Okay, good. Keep going. Okay, and you can make this harder by trying to do this with your non-dominant hand. You can change the uh, distance to the actual box or the size of the box or the towel. Good. Okay, one last thing we'll try before we move on. So what I want you to do is slowly hold on to the towel with both hands and I want you to slowly squeeze your fingertips as hard as you can hold that for five four three two one and relax and let's go once more five four three two one and really focus on using the muscles in your hands just to improve that grip okay it's a good functional way to do that we do that with our exercise classes where we give you the dumbbells and the therabands because we don't we might not have that at home this is a good alternative to try and keep the muscles strong in the hands So now that we've gone through some more aerobic activities, some strength activities and some coordination, uh, we're going to add three new stretches that you can try. Um, they're all going to be in the chair, so just remember that it's against the wall and it has um, armrest and if it causes any pain, just to stop. And you only want to stretch to a little bit of discomfort. So the first stretch we're going to do is the cat camel, which is really good for your spine mobility and just getting that back moving, especially if you've been sitting down for a long time. So Dash is going to demonstrate. He's going to put his hands on his hips and the first motion he's going to do is draw his belly button in and cave his back, bring his shoulders and head forward. And then he's gonna slowly push his belly button forward, arch his back, open up his chest and bring back his shoulders and then forward good remembering to breathe in and out as you go good so you should really feel as you come forward your pelvis is going back upper body coming forward and then as you come back upper body is going back and pelvis is going forward good and just one more good so that's the first stretch. The next one is our seated chair twist stretch. So this is also good for our spine mobility. So what he's going to do is put his arms, reach his arms across to this um, chair rest here and turn his body as he goes. So he should be twisting in his back and his spine. Hold for a few seconds. Good, and then twist, slowly twisting to the other side, bringing both his hands across. Good. And again, if it causes any pain, just stop the exercise. And you can just do three on each side, holding for a few seconds. Good. Making sure to look the direction you're turning as well. Good. All right, and then the next stretch is called our knee to chest. So what Dash is going to do is one leg at a time. He's going to grab his knee or the front of his shin and bring his foot off the ground and bring his knee to his chest. Good, and then back down and then up. Hold for a few seconds and then back down. Good, again, you can just do three on each side, holding for a few seconds at the top. Good, that's it. Good, all right, so they're all the exercises for this um, new video. Hope you enjoyed them. If you have any questions, just email us and just remember to keep moving at home. Just do as much as possible. You can still do the exercises from the other video. This is just some other options you can do. Just try and do something every day. Um, and we'll look forward to seeing you all when we can come back.